what you're going to need for this DIY is a hardcover case book, an X-Acto knife, some scissors and a marker, a ruler, and a glue stick. I found that the glue stick worked best for me. And then a magnetic paper or some type of magnet that sticks. Um, some duct tapes that you like. And this is optional, a duct tape sheet. And then a foam board. And a glue gun with some glue sticks. So first you're going to start off with taking off the flaps to the book. And I suggest a hardcover case book because I've tried with cardboard and cardboard didn't really work out so well. It was a little flimsy. Um, so yeah, even a children's book will work if it's a hardcover case um, and you no longer want it. But just anything that's like a hardcover, then that would work fine. So if you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can also use a box cutter knife. Um, Anything sharp will work. So these um, hardcover flaps, oh my God. you don't want them too far apart and you also don't want them like crooked. You, you want to make sure that the foam board will fit in between. It doesn't matter like if your um, duct tape strips are long or short, just as long as they're on there. So right here I tried getting the duct tape strips as close as I could because I didn't want them overlaying each other um, just so that it looked a little better um, because I feel like if they were overlapping each other it would be crooked and it would just look a little more messy. So also I used the exacto knife right there just so that it didn't look messy. Um, and just so it would look a little more sleek. So then you want to measure the inside of your bookcase or the, the inside of your um, the book flap and then measure the foam board and try and get them the same size. Be careful that you don't cut your table because I've ruined my table, as you can tell, with like nail polish remover and the scissors and stuff. So then you want to um, draw the lines for how how big you want the um, the frame to be, and then put duct tape on it. This is going pretty fast. And gl the glue gun or the glue stick worked best for me on this. I've tried the glue gun, I've tried the rubber cement, it didn't work out so well. So the glue gun is best in my opinion. Also you're going to need a glue gun for that. <laughs> and then that's it, that's the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe if you like these type of videos. Um, and I'll see you later. Bye!